sellotape stuck to my shoe. Let's take a crack at Thursday then, shall we? Got a few things that need to go out sales-wise. And then I think I'm going to start working on that rail. Maybe. I am tempted to fill it up and do a whatnot show, actually. It's the first thing in the morning, so I want to get the sales done first, really. One of the things I hate the most is leaving mess out from the night before to come into the next day. Pet hate of mine, and I'm the culprit. Just annoy myself. There's no need, it's lazy. Or maybe I was doing something. What did I do yesterday? Can't remember. What well, abandoned ship. Right, what's going out? Okay. First thing for £50 on Vinted is this Resident Evil Director's Cut. It does have the demo disc and it does have the manual and it also has the Resident Evil 2 demo manual. I think it's actually just the Resident Evil 2 manual, but the demo's in there and it's just made a nice little bundle. 50 quid box F. There we go. For £2, even though I have just decapitated him, is this vintage Mickey Mouse bath shower gel bottle thing. Quite collectible. People like these sorts of things. £2 on vintage. And a fresh purchase from Kieran O'Toole in the last five minutes are those Jordan joggers that I got from the car boot sale. I think there was a pound. Kieran's purchased them. £5 on vintage. Massively appreciate you, Kieran. Here's his Instagram. Go check him out. Moving over to eBay. Sold this morning for £11.69 is the Bluebird tin from the car boot sale. It had all of the sewing stuff in it. I think I put a big bundle together for a fiver in that Marlboro bag, if you remember. £11.69. Beautiful. 50 pence pickup from the last car boot sale was this Hugo Boss aftershave. Sold for £20.69. All in. Steeple Tone Air Marine Radio. It's got multiple different bands on it. Quite sought after, apparently. Apparently, it's quite a cool thing. Had it listed for 40 quid, took an offer of £25 plus postage. £2 from two car boots ago. And the second one to go. How do you feel about being sold me, old mate? Yeah, but I'm sure the person's going to go to a really nice home. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely lovely. He's livid. £17.48 all in. I think it was £3 from a charity shop. I sold one for 15 quid or 12 quid. This one for £17.48. 17 48 Get it. And that is all of the sales. Unless I've got some Instagram sales. I'm not sure. But as I mentioned, I'm not too sure whether to whatnot all of this because I've got another bag in the house to do and some more stuff that I've just brought in. I'm not sure whether to what not it all, because it will just go in one night or list it individually. You know what I'm saying? But if I do do a what not stream, the link is going to be in my description on this video. I think it always is anyway. There's also going to be a link if you want to be a seller, sign up there. Because when you've got a bulk load of stuff, you can just move it on. Nine times out of ten, the majority of it will go in one night. Especially if you're doing one pound starts. If you want to clear out, it's like selling at a car boot sale from the comfort of your own home. It just goes. And obviously... I've got some good bits there. You can sell whatever sort of quality of stuff you want. But all of that, if I do a whatnot stream, I mean, there's Ralph Lauren, there's Polo, there's Burghaus, there's Gore-Tex, there's all sorts of stuff there. I would do one pound starts on all of that. But also don't be disillusioned. I am very aware that I am in a fortunate position when whatnot came around to have been on social media. So I've been able to transfer a lot of people from my social media onto whatnot. So I'm in a fortunate position there. Don't get it twisted. But I also know there's plenty of people on Whatnot. I'll see if I can think of a few channels while I'm editing the video who started just on Whatnot, had no social platform, and they just built themselves up. It can be done. Whatnot is like a social platform on its own. So don't be put off if you want to do... I think of Whatnot like I'm selling at a car boot sale. There are people like John and Charlotte and Luxury Pickers and all those types of people that really put a lot of thought, process, energy, and effort into their streams fucking fantastic and their streams are always really really good they treat it very differently to how i do i'm like a car boot sale so there is loads of different models loads of ways to do it that's just how i look at the platform big big clear out i better not forget to mention my man ricky at top clobber he also has a big business strategy with whatnot but i don't mine is just fill a rail or fill a pile but now it's fill a rail again because the rail's back up 
and then flog it on. But I also might list it individually. I don't know. I haven't, deci haven't decided yet. What a ramble. For those of you who are not on my Instagram, link is in the description down below. But yesterday, I had a really weird thing happen. I'm going to play you the video, but I'm going to do a voiceover because I've got some music playing in the background. And I need to get that bread, baby. I don't want YouTube taking all the money from this video. I was peacefully working when I heard this plop and I thought a bird had pooed on my car. So I went and wiped it, as you can see. But the bird poo was really hard. I had a look around and I saw a freaking egg, man. A bird had dropped an egg on my car. Look how small it is. Like a small little sparrow's egg type thing. Absolutely disgusting. Horrific. Horrendous. Gross. Grim. Ugh. And then I had to wipe it off. And look how yellow that yolk is. So fresh and rich. <laughs> So yeah, how bizarre. Five years or whatever it is I've been living here and I've parked my car in the same spot. That's never, ever, ever happened. Day that I get a new car, very next day. Fucking, basically, we've got a bird flight path across our house. So we have um, swallows or starlings, whatever they are, and their flight path is across our house. So at the moment, they're reorganising their nests and stuff and they're getting everything ready and they're flying back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Fucking dropped an egg. Dropped an egg. When I put it on Instagram, people were saying, are you sure you haven't been egged? Do you know what? If I had been egged, I would feel blessed because somebody egged me with, it must have been a quail's egg or something. <laughs> and they must have done it from above. They must have flew over the house and dropped it down. So I'd feel blessed for the effort and the, uh, it's very posh egging, isn't it? A quail egg. <laughs> but no, it wasn't egged. So how weird is that? Well, I'm going to go in the house and grab a coffee and then come back out. And we're going to get, we're going to get to some work. Another giveaway today. Uh, hello. I've just listed the Vectra on Marketplace for 500 quid. See if we can get it gone. I'll take offers on it, of course. For a 2008 car, it's only done 85k. But it's a bit ratty, do you know what I mean? But it'd be a good tick car for somebody. I think I've been ordering things from Vinted. The postman's just been... Oh, that's the t-shirt from Michael. Big up, Michael. Hopefully it fits. Should we try it on together? Actually, no, I can't be able to get it changed. So we had a bit of a weird discussion. So he sent me this and asked me if it was legit or not. And it's an older label, you know, made in China. And then he sent me the wash tag, half hanging off, made in Italy. So I was like, Pfft. I don't know, I'd need to see it, man. So he said, just send me some postage and I'll, I'll send you it. You can have it. So I sent him a fiver, I think. So he got a quid back for it at least. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Looking at it now, don't know. No idea. But if it fits me, I'll rock that. Hopefully it fits. Cheers, Michael, mate. Instagram. Yeah, so I've just listed my car on Marketplace. 500 quid. Cheap. Hopefully someone sends me an offer. Got my coffee. Had some toast. Funny, in it? The power of editing. Oh, also, I've just had an email, a sponsorship offer from... What are they called? Can't remember the name of the company. I think George did a video with them for the table. Now, they've offered me the opportunity to, to do a video on one of their chairs. And their chairs look very comfortable, very smart quite expensive but I don't want a chair so I've counter offered and said as much as I love the chairs and I do and I think you all love them as well I and people who watch the channel would probably more benefit from a table so I've said I've, I basically I've eBay counter offered them and said I see your chair how about a table instead so we'll see what they say but the chairs are very nice and if they don't do the table I might still do the chair because it's a nice chair, you know? I've got to get that bag somehow. But yeah, we'll see. I had something to talk to you about today, but I can't remember what it was. And it's bothering me because I really had it on the forefront of my mind all night last night. Don't know, but if it comes to me, I'll get back to you. I'm going to get this stuff packed up quickly now because I've picked it. I haven't packed it. Postage, done. I don't care. All the reviews I've seen online, the negative ones, I'm so sorry you've had an issue. But my Munbrin printer, I am halfway through the label stack and I've not had one fucking issue. Nothing. Nothing to do with jamming, no stoppage, no trouble scanning the codes, nothing. So as always, the link is in the description down below. And I don't get sponsored for these extra mentions. Just a big advocate. 200 quid for a setup. Come on. Let's get these in the car. Oh, I've got to clear this walkway. So nice having a car that I'm, I can rely on. 
you know what I mean? It's not the fanciest looking car. It's nice looking. But I could go for other options. I could have gone for a nice BMW or something like that. But I need space, man. Space, man. I need space. I've got kids. I've got a family. And whenever we go on holidays, whether it's driving to the airport or driving to a UK holiday destination, guess who has to drive? So I either end up driving that tank down there and worrying all the way, the Vectra, or I use mother-in-law's car because it's the second biggest car. Second biggest car now. So it's just nice to have something reliable. When I used to do my consignment, I used to drive like 80 odd miles one way and then have to come back. And sometimes I'd take Ada, I'd never feel comfortable doing that, ever. Hated it, but I had to. So I'd pack a big bag of snacks and some water just in case we break down. Not saying that won't break down, of course it can. It's much, nobody cares about this. I am undecided. I think I might do a whatnot stream on these, on this rail of clothing. Please remember, if you want to be a whatnot seller, there's a link in the description down below. Click that link. And because I'm already an established seller, you'll get fast tracked through and your account will get opened. It's not as long as it used to be anymore. Click the link down below, what not become a seller. Get signed up. Get signed up and just have the account just so you've got it. Do you know what I mean? You have to do an onboarding call, that's it. Get the account, just have it sitting there. Because then when you do sell, it's ready to go. I think this geezer might be interested in the car. What the fuck? I'm just going to blast through loads of pictures today. It's going to be very, very boring for you to watch. So I'm not going to take you through that. But we are going to do a giveaway. Pardon my interruption. To the person yesterday's video that said the ashtray that I bought was absolutely trash and it was a complete waste of money and I will never get it right again. <laughs> in your face, you big loser. You're lucky I didn't screenshot your comment in time. You know you are. Pristine. Today's giveaway is quite a good one, to be fair. Well, I think so. It's from the McDonald's stuff. I haven't checked to see if, what the value is or anything. They're probably going to be 15, 20 quid for the lot. That's a guess. But we're doing the Barbie McDonald's stuff. So we've got Barbie on a lilo. Barbie, I don't know, in a green dress. Barbie baby in a high chair. So we've got three vintage Mattel McDonald's Happy Meal toys from the Barbie franchise. That's got to be good, right? Has to be good. I'm going to do a research after I put this video out and see what they're worth. But if you are a collector or a reseller and you want to sell them on, for your chance to enter this competition, you need to comment down below. If you was a doll, I would. And again, it is up to you. You can follow that on with whatever you like. Off you go. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Please do like the video on the way out and check to see if you are subscribed. I massively appreciate it. Love you all. Bye. Bye.